today on MTG Unpack, we're getting stuck into a brand new box of Zendikar Rising set boosters for patrons. Alright, so let's get into it. I was finally able to pick up more of this. I was originally supposed to have about nine boxes, but none of my local game stores have this in yet. So that's a little disappointing. Leave a note in the comments if your local game store has got these in stock. Okay, so... We will be opening the box topper. Hopefully it is not damaged. Okay, so I'm just going to be snacking today. So we'll be grabbing eight packs. So there's four, five, six, and seven, eight. Okay, so let's set that aside and introduce the patrons. We have Katie W and Daniel T. Okay, so four packs each. So, randomly distributed like so. Perfect. Okay, so there we go. Katie, thank you for being a patron. Only patrons get the rare smith, it spoils, and anything over a buck. Along with art cards and anything from the list. Okay, so let's crank that lighting up here. We've got a very nice... Um, something or other. A swamp. Okay, I knew that. A mountain... And next up we have Expedition Champion, Dauntless Survivor, Grow Tag Bug Catcher Creature Goblin Warrior, Tajuru Snarecaster, Brushfire Elemental, Ruin Crab, nice to see you sir, Kabira Takedown, on the other side we've got Kabira Plateau, Broken Wings, Vine Gecko, and the rare is Nahiri's Lotho Forming, Sorcery for X and 2 red, Sacrifice X lands for each land. Sacrifice this way. Draw a card. You may play X additional lands this turn. Lands you control. Enter the battlefield tapped this turn. Also get a foil expedition healer and a copy token. Okay, nothing too crazy there. Let's move on to the next pack. Okay, so this is Drainer. I can never remember which one. There's like three different variants. Uh, the Last Blood Chief. Okay. You've got a Plains. Tajuru Snarecaster. Expedition Skulker. Tajuru Blightblade. Deadly Alliance. Windrider Wizard. Merfolk Falconer. Sajiri Shelter. On the other side, Sajiri Glacier. Farsight Adept. Throne of McKindy is rare. It's land type for colorless mana. Pay one tap. Put a charge counter on it, tap, remove a charge counter from it. You get to add two mana of any one color, spend this mana only to cast kick spells. And another rare, which is one of the fun things about these set boosters, you can get more than one. Uh, squad Commander, Creature Core Warrior 3 3 for 4. So when it enters the battlefield, create a 1 1 white Core Warrior creature token for each creature in your party. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you have a full party, creatures you control get plus 1 plus 0 and gain indestructible until end of turn. And a foil Shatter Skull Minotaur with an Angel Warrior token. That's pretty cool. I'll check that in as well. Okay. So halfway through here for Katie. And we did get a signed art card yesterday. So if you missed that video, I'll pop a link in the corner. Check it out. Okay. So Nissa of Shadowed Bows. Okay. Oh, Foil Island. Nice one. Smite the Monstrous, Canopy Baloth, Strength of Solidarity, Blood Chief's Thirst, Skyclave, Shadow Cat, Creature Cat Horror, Iridescent Horn Beetle, Spikefield Hazard, On the other side we've got Spikefield Cave, Core Celebrant, Hagro Constrictor, Legion Angel is the rare, Creature Angel Warrior 4 3 for 4, with flying, so when it enters the food, you may reveal a card you own named Legend Angel from outside the game and put it into your hand. A foil, Amara Mystic. And the game doesn't stop here, does it? No, you can hop on MTG Arena, craft some crazy brews. How are things looking after the recent standard bands? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so I think it's this orientation. So this is Black Bloom Rogue, okay, a Mountain, Skyclave Squid, McKindy Ox, Dreadworm, Kazandu Stomper, Cyndaclasm, Roost of Drakes, Ruin Crab Showcase, that is a good deal indeed, so you got two of those, 
Teeter Peak Ambush a Creature Goblin Warrior. Deadly Alliance and Glass Pool Mimic is a rare creature shapeshifter rogue zero zero for three. So you may have it enter the battlefield as a copy of a creature you control, except it's a shapeshifter rogue in addition to its other types. And on the other side, we got Glass Pool Shore. It enters tap. You can tap it for blue. And a foil showcase canopy Bailoth with a plant token. Okay, so let's scoop it all up here for Katie. Enjoy. And you know what? Let's open the box, Topper. I can barely contain my excitement. Let's see what it is and hope, 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 hope it is not damaged. It looks decent. Okay, we have Valakut the Molten Pinnacle Mythic. So it enters the battlefield tapped, and whenever a mountain enters the battlefield under your control, if you control at least five other mountains, you may have Valakut the Molten Pinnacle deal three damage to any target. You can tap it for red mana. Okay, so let's pop that down there in the corner. Okay, moving on, we have Daniel T. Thank you for being a patron. Four more packs of Zendikar Rising. So what is the best uh, box topper you've gotten out of one of these so far? Leave a note in the comments. So I think, which way is this one? Is that, that's a Shire. I think it goes that way. A Shire Soul of the Wild. All right. A Foil Plains. What's up with all the Foil Lands? Craziness. Arden Electromancer, Sneaking Guide, Creature Goblin Rogue, Expedition Champion, Dauntless Survivor, Grow Tag, Bug Catcher, Creature Goblin Warrior, Taunting Arbor Mage, Dreadworm Showcase, Utility Knife, Paired Tactician, and Rare, oh nice, Showcase, Skyclave Shade, Creature Shade 3 1 for 2, has Kicker 2 and a black, so it can't block. If it was kicked, it enters Bedford with 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, has Landfall. Whenever land and spurred food under your control, if Skyclave Shade is in your graveyard and it's your turn, you may cast it from your graveyard this turn. And a foil, McKindy Ox, with something from the list. Nice. We've got a Thought Vessel. Artifact for two. You have no maximum hand size tap to add one to your mana pool. Good deal. Okay. So three more packs here for Daniel. See if we can get another signed art card. I think there's only been one other from the box so far. That's very cool artwork, but I can't remember. Seagate Storm Cooler. Okay. Get an island or chuck that in. Fish Wizard. Goblin Wizard, of course. Expedition Diviner. Canning Geyser Mage. Seafloor Stalker. Lowell Mage's Domination. Relic Golem. Showcase Canopy. Bailoth. Cliffhaven Cell Sword. Drainer's Silencer, and the rare, very nice, River Glide Pathway, it's land tap for blue, and Lava Glide Pathway tap for red, so that's one of those dual faced cards, and a Foil Akum Hellhound Showcase with an Insect Token. Okay, so down to two packs, doing okay with the list I think, could be doing better though. Some nice artwork here. So that is Amara Mystic. Okay, got a Forest Mesa Lynx. Vanquish the Weak. Blood Price. Feed the Swarm. Rockslide Sorcerer. Goma Fada Vanguard. Tangled Florahedron. On the other side, we've got Tangled Veil. Low Mages Domination. Relic Amulet. And a mythic, nice one, Forsaken Monument, Legendary Artifact for five. Colorless creatures to control get plus two plus two. Whenever you tap a permanent for colorless mana, add an additional colorless mana. Whenever you cast a colorless spell, you gain two life. And a foil, Cleansing Wildfire, with a cat token. You know what, I'll check in the cat, because everybody needs a cat. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. What will we have here in the final pack of goodness? Um, yeah, I'm not sure who that is. Highborn Vampire, of course. Okay, so get the island in focus. There we go. Scavenged Blade, Thwart the Grave, Relic Amulet. Acquisitions Expert, Soaring Thought Thief, 
Skyclave Plunder, Spitfire Lagak Showcase, Blood Beckoning, and another Mythic! Holy moly! Tazri Beacon of Unity, Legendary Creature Human Warrior, 4 6 for 5. This will cost one less to cast for each creature in your party, and for a whole bunch of colors or colorless mana there, uh, or Pick a colour, basically. Look at the top six cards of your library. You may reveal up to two Cleric, Rogue, Warrior, Wizard, and or ally cards from among them. Put them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And a foil. Oh, no, not a foil. It's another rare. Coral Helm Chronicler. Creature Murphy Wizard 2-2 two, two for three. So whenever you cast a kick spell, draw a card, then discard a card. And when Coral Helm Chronic Land is about to look at the top five cards of your library, you may reveal a card with a kicker ability from among them. Put it into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And here's the foil Grotag Bug Catcher Creature Goblin Warrior. All right. And another insect. So there we go, Daniel. Enjoy the pools. Let's scoop them up here. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.